You, my friends, are the lunatic fringe in cryptocurrency, and I'm here to talk to you about the Luna Classic price and what's going on within the ecosystem. If you like this type of content, make sure that you help me out by hitting the like button and sharing this content with your friends. Now, let's kick it off, and let's look at these charts. Let's look at the news that's going on. Let's try to figure out what's about to happen next. We can predict successfully what's going to happen next. That's going to help you and me to continue to grow our portfolios and get better at Luna Classic. So let's go. Now, quick summary here. I did write up a discussion about repeg, and I screwed up numbering and all kinds of stuff. So if you guys want to, and I misspelled. So if you want to go in here and check this out, uh, there is a discussion being held. It is called USTC Repeg Compiled Articles and Community Insights. I just left a comment down here at the bottom for people to digest, dissect, and break apart or work with. I don't know what the end result there is going to be, but you guys let me know what you think uh, by going there. Uh, as far as coin haul goes, the, the, the meme coins seem to be kind of in a stagnant sort of level. Uh, the, the boys still continuing its, its, its trajectory really good. Um, food up pretty good. Juris up decent. Uh, Garuda X still up pretty good. You know, we're not having any dumps. So when the pumps happen, it's going to be phenomenal for this ecosystem. Also should be noted that Terra is up yet again. Now, we break down Terra, we know that Terra had a little bit of a falling down here, uh, but when you kind of zoom out, then you can see here that, you know, that's cause for perhaps a back, uh, a, a reversal of trend. We had this over here, the market dumped just a little bit, going from nine down to eight. So, uh, you know, we might see a, a quite big reversal coming for Terra uh, in that lung pairing pretty soon, especially, you know, remember the, the, the interesting thing here is that this is running an entire ecosystem. So uh, I would suspect that we're gonna see a, a really big run on some of these cryptos very, very soon. And remember, we've got some staked over here because we are part of Terraport and we staked a very small amount, but we staked it. Uh, we're, we're in there for at least another month. We got about a month until the unlock and there are only uh, the 14 day lock period that's left. So if you wanna get in, this is gonna be your opportunity. Otherwise, everything else is sold out. If you don't, then what you can do is yield farm and you can create a stake for pairing over there or you can do liquid staking over here as well. And uh, look, staking your Luna Classic takes it out of circulation. Yeah, it never ends badly. So uh, that's a, a pretty good opportunity for everybody here. Uh, if you are looking to earn some more Lunk, to, to earn some more Yield, to earn some more Terra, whatever it is that you're looking to do. So make sure you check out terraport.finance today. Now, as far as voting goes, the 110 maximum validators has gone through. So uh, we'll see 10 more validators coming online at some point pretty soon. I asked a question last night, should I set up a validator? And I don't, I don't think that's for me. I don't think that that's a, a process that I'm really interested in. I appreciate people who come to me for information, advice, uh, want to know my opinion of stuff like that. I, you know, thank you for tuning in, but I don't know if the validation is my bag. And also it makes me feel, look, I think that if I'm out here talking about the project, then at some point I would feel like being a validator would give me a need for undue influence, if you will, over or into any system. So I don't think it ends well for somebody like myself, who's kind of, my job is to kind of give you my opinion of what I think is happening. So uh, I think I'll stay away from it, but um, at least I considered it. Uh, anyway, uh, establish a lunk maintenance and review team. Seems to be no real interest over here. I'm not sure what that is about. Well, maybe we'll see a rush of voting at the end to establish what that is. Uh, I know that there's probably going to be some people who are just concerned about they don't want any oversight for good or nefarious reasons. It doesn't really matter. Um, you know, in decentralized finance or in DeFi in general, you're you're really looking for um, you're you're looking for nobody to be in on your business. So you know, I understand there's a lot of different um, sides to this discussion. Also, this burn, uh, you know, there's a couple burns that were put up by Happy Caddy, and I, I got a good response here for. Somebody who actually, you know, put out some so, something very, very interesting here. And also, just so you guys know, proposal to improve the governing module mechanism for BLV Labs, uh, KYC, now that they've been KYC. So that's out there for a vote. Just came up. You notice here that, you know, seven-day process it ends. So it's only been up for a short period of time. 
However, the interesting thing. Interesting thing here was uh, regarding Happy Caddies, you know, we want to just go ahead and burn everything right now. Uh, LVS node put out that I'm abstaining and it says, I feel this proposal should have come post all of the TFL legal and bankruptcy processes, including any objection. So that is probably the correct method that we would use. I know that, you know, Happy Caddy's probably trying to jump the shark a little bit and get ahead of this so that, you know, perhaps we can get a, a better idea of what the price will look like, get a nice little price pump, show people there's some opportunity here, you know, make it, it, it would create a, a feel good moment, if you will, to see a really aggressive pump happen. And since we're getting towards October, November, which is notoriously the best two months in cryptocurrency, it would be front running that and setting ourselves up for a really kind of explosive move as people start to move back around, say, wait a minute, where did all this burn come from? And it would, yeah, I think it would create a, a decent sized pump on both Unit, Luna Classic and USTC. So I'm not opposed to it, but I understand the reasoning from people behind why they don't want to vote for it. So I don't fault anybody uh, who's saying no or who's uh, opposed to it. And as you can see right here from the vote so far, it doesn't look like it's going to pass. It doesn't look like it's something that's going to go through. Most people seem to be, uh, it, it, they seem to be looking at it from the standpoint that this is not the method, that this is not the method by which this should be done. Now, there's some interesting stuff over here uh, with some other uh, comments and positions as well in which, uh, you know, a lot of people like myself, by the way, I come out here all the time, talk about Jesus as Lord one and two, and I don't like the fact that there are multiple validators. But I understand that, you know, it's not a quote unquote crime in the ecosystem to do that. Uh, as a matter of fact, just so you guys understand, if I were Community First Lunk and I made a Community First Lunk 2 or somebody else made one, you know, I, I, the names, the the spirit, I, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure exactly how I, look, until it's illegal, it's not illegal and I don't like it, right? Uh, but I also don't like the Jesus is Lord mostly for the way that they vote, not for, um, not for any other particular reason. I just don't like the way that they vote. I think that they vote against the better interest of the pool. So, you know, you do what you got to do. But uh, I, I would support if you were to unstake your uh, delegation from Jesus is Lord and find somebody who votes more in your interest, then I would have no problem with that whatsoever. But, you know, as far as two validators go, whatever. Now, for some clarity here, this is uh, Nicholas Boulay. Uh, you know, the the this is frag undelegate from these validators ASAP. Now, this is an option here to burn those wallets. This is the same vote that we just looked at and we just talked about. And I said, look, I you know I would undelegate from these people. Not my you know uh, we just walked talked about the problem, but uh, they do not want to see Lunk have success. See, I feel the same way on that. And on top of double noting. Better option, the frag coin, we airdrop tokens from our ecosystem on top of your Lunk rewards and we actually build stuff unlike these charlottes. Now, I don't know that to be the case. I do know that I disagree fundamentally with people who are voting no to some of this stuff. So if people are not voting the way that you want them to vote, change who you validate with. It's very simple. It's very, very simple. And it's not that complicated. Just undelegate and redelegate to somebody else and show them if you don't vote the way I want you to vote, then I'm not going to continue to delegate. Now, if you, by the way, wanted to vote no or no with veto on this proposal, and this is the only person, validate with them. Redelegate to them if that's the case. And, you know, voting is very simple. All you have to do is, is handle who you validate with or how you uh, delegate stuff. And, and by the way, redelegating, I think, is immediate. So you can just go over to station uh, and do a redelegation. So uh, it pr it's actually, I think, pretty and, and fairly simple. And you know, look, um, again, do what you want. Anyway, now we're going to talk price action. So structurally, what I told you guys was going to happen is exactly what happened. I told you we were going to get a spike, then we're going to retest a little bit, and then we we're going to trade sideways. Now, I think it's going to be a little bit higher. So I think I don't think that we're over with right now, and I don't think that we're done. I want to show you an example of what I'm talking about project I've been involved with for a little while. It's called MSI, Monkey Shit Inu. I know, it's funny, but uh, it's an ERC-20. So anyway, uh, what happened over here is we started to get this consolidation in range and we got this tightening starting to happen right here. And you could just kind of see it start to play out, right? And I said, well, you know, this is going to lead to a breakout, right? Well, what happens here? So we got the breakout to that bottom, right? We got the breakout. Uh, then we came back down for a retest on the trend line. 
and then we had a fake out. We came back down for a double bottom retest and then boom, now it's continuing to mint and start to move up, up, up and away. Okay, bear that in mind. Now, Luna Classic, what is happening over here? Well, it's, it's kind of the same thing. So uh, when we look at it from uh, a longer term structure here, then you know a couple days ago, what we got is that move, then we got that double bottom breakout, and then boom, we started to make our way up. Now, structurally, that was a change in dynamic, and now what we're looking at is this sort of breakout spot right here. So we're coming back down and we're testing that golden zone every single time, and that's gonna lead to another breakout. What's happened is we've successfully, it looks like we've successfully created a higher low. Now, if that is the case, that means new investors, new money is working its way into the ecosystem, and that should create some enthusiasm and should end up relating to uh, a bigger pump. Now, uh, again, I do think that we probably should be testing that dropping of the zero, if you will. So uh, I want to stick with this for right now and say that, you know, we're coming back down here for a test, but I think this move is still on tap, and I think that's still going to play out over the next little while. So and let me know what you think in the in the description down below. But um, I, I think that we're in line right now for a, a very kind of hardy move. Now, I do want to warn you. I do think that this market is going to dump when we get the, uh, uh, the Fed decision from the United States. I do think that that's going to lead to some negative output. Over the next few months, there's going to be several major announcements for Cryptonomy.Finance. Guys, the bull run is about to kick off. That is a big deal. And in conjunction with that, I am continuing to accumulate more and more of my favorite cryptocurrencies. Let me show you what happened. I earned 0.037 Bitcoin off of this in over six months. I staked 0.21 Bitcoin right here and got 0.0124 on a three month window. Now I'm gonna make another deposit because as you can see here, I'm big on XRP. We're gonna do one more big XRP deposit. 10,000 more XRP, six month staking process. That's a 32% yield. Also, let me show you, I just made a withdrawal here uh, 0.09 Bitcoin off of my last flexible staking option and finally and this is the big one guys I keep telling you this it's the launch pool get into the launch pool create a contract I'm gonna make a new contract with six ethereum right now it's a bronze contract profit sharing is 50 50 we're gonna do that right now done all right guys, that's what we're doing we've got a bunch of these set up remember this last one that I completed uh, I, look I can't tell you how important it is for you to stake or crypto. You see the numbers right there. Start staking with Cryptonomy.Finance today. Now, as far as the rest of it goes, we're up 1% on the day, down 34% in trade volume. Not a great sign, but we've been dealing with this for a little while. Same thing over here on USTC, volume way down. Uh, we're, we're coming out of Sunday, you know, into Monday where there's low trade volume and we're up 1% as well. So moving in a positive direction, let's go bullish over here. Uh, Moving in a positive direction overall. Now, let's check in on some other stuff. Burns, uh, Terraform Labs has become number five overall with a sequence of burns that happened over the last bunch of days. If you were to look at it from that context, 869 million have been burned over the last seven days. Not huge, but hey, this is more than what we have normally at this point during the month. Normally at this point during the month, we're looking at about 200 million. So if we can continue to have these types of runs and these types of burns, that would be incredible for the ecosystem entirely. So that's a good thing in my opinion. So uh, maybe, just maybe, we'll see uh, a, a nice little run happen. Speaking of nice little runs happening, Terra Casino is giving away $400,000 from Pragmatic Play. So if you play the Mustang Gold Megaway up to $400,000 through September 30th, what are you waiting for? Sign up today. Oh my God. Also, they're in Evolution, they're giving away 1.2 million euros from September 2nd to September 29th. Bet and win through Evolution. All you have to do is come over to terracasino.io. Unless you're afraid of money. If you're scared of money, that's cool. That's cool, bro. Euro, by the way, it, that's money for those of you in America. Uh, so if you are interested and you are looking, then this is your opportunity. Also, uh, there is an entire ecosystem of different tokens and different coins that you can use over here in this ecosystem. And additionally, 
They partner with the World Poker League. This is no joke. The World Poker League for a 2 million euro payout from September 20th to December 22nd. These are massive amounts of money being given away by this ecosystem over the next 30 to 60 days. So uh, if you haven't signed up, then you owe it to yourself to sign up today. And look, all you have to do is go over there and play a little bit. The worst thing that could happen is you don't win. It's, it's insane to me that you wouldn't, we have 2,000 people or so that watch this video every day. It would be insane if we didn't have 2,000 signups. What, do you don't like money? Do you know what I mean? Like, all you have to do is go over here, throw a few bucks at some games here, start, you know, start playing, start having a little fun, and see what happens. Because that's a great opportunity for you. You never know who's going to win. You never know what's going to happen here. So, uh, guys, check it out today. Also, don't forget, we're staking over here. We're liquid staking. We're farming. We're earning. Uh, Launchpad. Rocket. Rocket. Um, there, I didn't receive any tokens, by the way, on, on Rocket. I didn't do it right. I showed you guys how to do it, but I didn't have any Terra at the time, and it was an average over 30 days, so I didn't get any, but... I'm going to be playing this game, and I'm going to show you the game, by the way. If you heard my video last night, if you didn't, I encourage you to go look because we're talking about the repeg. But if you didn't watch the one from last night, go check it out from last night. We talk about Rocket a little bit, and, and I'm looking forward to playing this game because I am a big-time Tower Defense fan. So uh, waiting for Rocket to launch. Also, uh, if you haven't, Air Force Lunk has launched, and you can play that over at Big Bang. So uh, we'll talk about that as well over the next couple of days. A lot of exciting things going on. A lot of exciting gaming stuff going on in the um, Luna Classic universe. So hop on board, guys. It's about to get very, very interesting. Um, again, I do think that there's going to be a dump. I want to summarize this by telling you guys, I think there's going to be a, a, a real dump in this market. I don't know what that looks like ultimately or, or how deep it would go. I have some estimates. I have some guesses, but I have to see what the, the, the basis points are. Also, it could just explode because that that lowering of rates means a liquidity injection coming into the market now you might be asking yourself well if we're, we're lowering the rates why would we dump well the answer is because the more you reduce the basis points the more the fed is letting you know we're scared about the market we think that we're heading into a recession so a, a an aggressive bps of 50 to 75 points means that older risk risk off people will take all of their money out of risk asset. That's really what happens here. So people like Warren Buffett, if they're in a high risk sort of zone with any sort of project or product, they will remove their money immediately and stable it on the sidelines waiting for an opportunity to buy a dip. That's the way these sharks do their business. So just bear that in mind. Uh, ultimately, it's going to be great for crypto. It'll cause a dump. It'll create a buy opportunity. It'll allow a bunch of people to get back in. And then we'll kick off the bull run. We're, we're getting into October and November. So be very, very careful managing your finances at this point. Uh, that's it. You guys have a good day. It's not financial advice. I'm always right. I thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, we'll talk to you again very, very soon.